you know, like I told you, I'll be traveling very soon. And um, I told you while I'm gone, I'll bring a doctor to take care of things here. Well, this is Dr. Brenda. Brenda, nurses. I don't have a question, but I do have some things to say. I'm a very strict person with so much regards for time. I hate laziness and I admire speed. I'm sure we all know the nature of our job, that every second counts. I'll admonish all of us to please be smart, fast, and most importantly, diligent. I hate laziness. I admire speed. The kind of job every moment counts. Who is Amit that she's trying to lecture? She didn't say anything wrong there. I mean, she's just doing her job. Mm. And part of her job includes insulting us like some auxiliarians I was employed yesterday, Abby. Good morning, Ma. Oh, good morning. How are you? Where are the other nurses? Um, they are yet to resume, Ma. I didn't get that. They are yet to resume. Maybe they couldn't get a bus on time. Oh, I get it. Because they feel the bus has traveled and it's one young female lady who's in charge now. They can resume anytime they like. Tell them to see me immediately they step into this premises. Yes, ma. Billy King! Billy King! Good morning. Is this how you people work here? Now what's happening, ma? Why is the bin in my office yet to be disposed? Uh, I've been the same guy cleaned the room first before I go cancel this place. Take that bin out of my sight right away and come back and clean this place up. I thought I made myself clear yesterday as regards the issue of lateness. We're very sorry, ma'am. We couldn't get a bus on time because of... Why don't you speak for yourself alone? Okay. I couldn't get a bus due to the full hike the nation is experiencing. I tried all I could to get here early. I'm really very sorry, ma'am. And Abigail? Same here. What do you mean by same here? I couldn't get a vehicle coming down here, and I live very far. You don't expect me to trek down to work. Abigail? Yes, Brenda. Must Abigail address that as Brenda? And I was shocked. That was the wrong thing to do. She called me Abigail first. If you don't look for my trouble, I won't look for yours. Oh, Must Abigail, I support you, Wewe. You see your father, make you slap her. Make you beat and Wewe. If you need my help, call me. We go get a beat and Wewe. You see, tell doctor, we go say, no, lie, see the lie. Ah, that girl, two months. It's too smart to be doctor self. Ah. Who, who, they say they're supposed to say person starts up and age before they go give person daughter. They say make call animal where he gets blood come out. Nice snake, can they so face? That one. If not be scan this away, make her face bent. That one I go find they call daughter. For waiting. When this trip is finished, do not give him another one. That's not what his house says. His house says to give him another one after this. I just told you not to give him another one. Why? Dr. Brenda, this patient has been receiving treatment here like before you assumed duty. And his house says to give him another one after this. Do you doubt my competence or do you just have a problem obeying simple instructions? No, I'm just following what his house says. Can I have the file, please? Here. Now, his file says do not give him another drip after this one because the patient is okay now. I still feel weak. My head aches and my mouth tastes bitter. All you've said are symptoms of malaria, which you've been diagnosed of. You'll be fine. I still think we should carry out another test on him to be very sure of what we're dealing with. All he's complained about are symptoms of other illnesses. There will be no need for another test. All he requires now is immense treatment. Give him his drugs and injection, as stated in his file. I still think it's wise for us to carry out another test on him. Do you have a problem with keeping your mouth shut and just following simple instructions? Did you just tell me to shut up? A test. 
attend to the patient immediately. Running from me? Me? I know they're running from you. And I remember say I'm not lucky in whatever they run for aside. Now I say make her run go lock her. Listen, you and the nurses have to be very careful. When next I see you guys standing around here and gossiping, you'll be in trouble. Yes, ma'am. I see you people are very good at gossiping about people around here. Especially Abigail. When next I catch you or her gossiping again. You will definitely lose your job. Ah, yes, ma'am. Go and clean the staff toilet. I just left that. It's very dirty. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. I hope you didn't already get back to bed. Clean toilet. Oh, what's that to me? Oh, Harry. No sense. Ah, oh, no sense. If you don't decide that I like to call it. If I give you one slap like this, you will just hold us. Eh? Amen. Nay. Eh? What are you doing? So what you people are trying to let me know now is that you don't know when the original doctor will return. What do you mean original doctor? Who told you the one available is fake? Isn't she? She doesn't check me as someone that knows anything. Go to the new doctor. It's a female. Yes, and she thinks this place is a military barracks so she can give orders anyhow. Eh, I need her to examine me. Eh, it's my waist and my backside. They need thorough massaging. You've never had any problems in any part of your body apart from your waist. Is it your waist? Eh? What was your problem? Is it your waist? Rubbish. Person go just the follow person they talk rubbish anyhow. Ah, what are you quarrelling with? Ah, now that girl when else I be talk to person because says she don't be daughter. Ah, it's now take time. I go beat her for yeah. Huh? She go forget her name for us. You go beat your boss. Now be say you don't get another job with that. You not can say me oh. Me I don't follow. I don't tell her say. You see talk to me anyhow. I go slap her. Uh, you told her that. Ah yes yeah, so she saw for me. I saw for her back. And she say make her help and wall off now. So now when they always gossip here. Say she cast now. She go sack all of now. I hope she did not mention my name. Ah well now your name I see mention pass. He say you now you be the uh, rig leader. Say you are pro two months. Say one day your man to go kill you. Hey, hey, you put her here. You put her here when she's doing all this thing about me. Later you said I know I began standing in trouble. You are here when she's saying all this kind of thing about me. You are here. Okay. Let's just tolerate that the doctor returns, please. Huh. Um, um excuse me. Let me hurriedly go and see the doctor. Um the pain below my waist is getting much, and I might collapse if I continue to stand here. Please let me just give me. Hi! Should I assist you? Uh, for now, no, no. Uh, uh, this man, I don't know. See? This man, so bad, by. When I touch the part that's painful, you let me know, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Haven't I touched the painful part? <clears throat> you never even start. You never even reach there at all. Just keep pressing. I'll let you know when you get there. Eh? Uh -huh. Just press harder, harder. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Make it harder. Uh -huh. Sir, hmm? I pressed all over your back and you didn't show any pain. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. See, you have not pressed my waistline. Uh, you have, okay, uh, wait. Let me remove my shirt. Uh, I'm sure I will feel the pain when your hands make, uh, make direct contact with it, please. Sir, it's not necessary. Ah, uh -uh. it's very, very necessary, though. Uh -uh. Because when your hands make direct contact with the place, wham, you will see me and pain here today. I am the doctor here, and I'm saying it is not necessary for you to move your clothes. I am the patient, and I have the right to remove my clothes for proper medical checkup. We go. Wow, mm -hmm. exactly that is the spot. One press. Uh -huh. Hada, hada. Uh -huh. You see, 
I told you I'm beginning to feel the hey! I'm feeling the pain now. Harder, harder, harder. Oh, come press, 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 press. Ah, press. Oh. Hmm? Sir. Hmm? Get up. Why? You are here to discover the, 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 the painful areas now. Eh? Just press a little more. But this time around, eh, apply um, pressure, pressure, soft pressure. Sir, get up. There is nothing wrong with your back. See me see trouble. Is it your back? I, the rightful owner of the back, is telling you that I'm feeling some serious pains and you're telling me some nonsense. Uh -uh. Then go to another hospital for treatment. As far as I'm concerned, your back is fine. I am not fine. You are fine. I said I am not fine. And I say you are fine. Please, get up and get out and let me attend to other patients. Uh, don't read like that. Yes. Is it for real? No, we're not. Uh -huh, take it easy. See, my shoulder. This area. I don't know. This penny me. Just help me check it. Uh -huh. Get up and get out. Get up and get out. Check it for the Get joint. out. See, the joints are removing from the socket. I said get out! Is it right? Look at this vein. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything is fine, sir. Ah, no, sir. No serious case. Yeah. Yes, we're getting along well. Uh, they are yes, sir. Yes. Okay, well done, sir. <laughs> Hello, doctor. Fine, sir. Um, how is Paris, sir? <laughs> um, when are you returning? <gasps> Tomorrow? <laughs> that would be really nice. I can't wait to see you, sir. Um, sir, tomorrow is my birthday, sir. Yeah, remember to buy me something really nice. All right, sir. Thank you. Sir, who? Dr. Brenda, uh, we're getting along fine. All right, sir. I'll let her know. And don't forget my baby, sir. All right, sir. Bye. <laughs> hello? Oh, why did you already call now? Should I allow me to say hello? To I already said hi for you and he said I should greet you. And most important, your doctor is coming back tomorrow and he said he's going to get me something really nice for my birthday. Oh, I actually forgot tomorrow is your birthday. I also forgot too. Eh, so both of you forgot tomorrow is my birthday, Abby. And both of you are supposed to be my best friends. Eh? And I thought you were planning to surprise me tomorrow. Well, it's not too late. But I'll get you something nice as a gift. Don't worry. Mm. Thank you. So, do you have any special plan for tomorrow? Eh, nothing really. I'm planning to spend it with my family. My mom and my sister, they're coming in first thing tomorrow morning. But I'll be closing very early so I can spend some time with them. Okay, you should tell Dr. Brenda you'll be closing earlier tomorrow. For what now? That's the right way to do things. You won't just leave work earlier than normal without permission from your boss. Eh? See, I agree with every other thing you're saying, but that boss aspect, never. She's not my boss. I think your Teresa is right. Just tell her about it. Not because she's your boss, but for formality's sake, it's necessary. Just tell her about it. I beg. My boss. What a coincidence. Tomorrow is also my birthday, too. That's good. So am I allowed to close very early tomorrow? No, you're not. I just told you I'd like to spend some time with my family because it's my birthday. And I just told you that you are not allowed to close earlier than usual because there are patients here who need close observation and some serious treatment. No, Teresa and Titi can take care of the patients. I need all the hands I can get. And like I told you, tomorrow is also my birthday. And I have families who I would love so much to spend time with, but my job just won't allow me. Spending time with my family like means a lot to me. And having you here to do your job means so much more to me. Happy birthday in advance, long life and prosperity. Hip hip, hooray! <laughs> She said, well, I didn't want to talk to her about tomorrow. After telling her, she refused to grant me permission to close any. That's wicked. Didn't you tell her it's your birthday? I did. And she said it was also her birthday. And since she's going to be at work fully, I must remain at work. I don't like that girl. <laughs> so you guys are birthday mates. <laughs> that explains why you're not friends. How? I mean, you both have a lot of things in common. Especially low level of tolerance. And neither of you can tolerate the other person. I'm going to close out my time tomorrow. Let her do her work. I don't care. Uh -uh. Since you can't convince her to allow you, 
I will say you just forget about it. Never. I will do what I still want to do. Let her jump into the lagoon. I don't care. life and prosperity. Thank you! <laughs> I wish you all the best in life and I pray that all your hard desires be granted. Happy birthday my lovely friend. <laughs> Happy birthday Nasabi! Eh? Hippie! Hooray! Thank you. Where's my gift? Hey, I'll go give you later. Birthday mates, may the good Lord bless you and crown all of your efforts with success and joy. Happy birthday. Amen, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, I feel like crying right now. <laughs> um, I also have something for you. <gasps> Happy birthday. Thank you, sweetheart. Dr. Brenda, I'm really sorry for all my attitude towards you. I'm really sorry, do forgive me. I do forgive you from the bottom of my heart. Now you can go back home immediately to spend some time with your family. Today's your day. Have fun. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.